Welcome everyone. This is Nancy Thompson with greatwithnancy.com and I, um, I'm here today. It's Wednesday, um, February, yeah, what is today? February 9th. So um, if you're joining in live, um, let me know that uh, you're here and where you're from and say hello. Today we are talking, of, I'm, I've got some great ideas with the celebration stamp set um, called Friendly Hello and also um, designer paper that is in with, um, with the um, celebration choice. So um, let me just make sure I'm live here. Um, bum, 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 bum. So, um, hopefully, yes, I am. So I didn't do a reminder today and I'm on time. Can you believe it? Um, I think I started on time. So, hey, Colleen, welcome. Um, hopefully I can get through this live because today I have like a head cold started. I don't know. And my nose just doesn't want to stop running today. So hopefully, um, and sneezing. So something allergic is happening to me. So I'm not quite sure, but hopefully we will get through this. All right. So, um, for those joining in, say hello and let me know you're here. But, uh, so today is all about the celebration choice, uh, friendly hello. And it's only, you can only get it for a few more weeks. Um, so it goes away on February 28th. That's the last day that you can um, get this for free. So let me show you what we're doing. So Advil Sinus. Okay, I'll have to try that. Um, but uh, just kind of like my nose, sneezy and running. So I don't know. Um, I must have caught something. But anyways, I haven't been anywhere. So, so. All right, hey Phyllis, I haven't seen you in a while, so welcome, I'm glad you're joining in today. So, um, okay, so let's get started, and hopefully others will join in as they come along, because I'm on time. Usually, you guys, I think I'm five or ten minutes behind, so I was ready today. So, okay, celebration. Um, this is a celebration catalog. If you still don't have one and you don't have a demonstrator you're working with, um, simply message me. You can fill out a catalog uh, request form on my uh, blog at createwithnancy.com. Okay, uh, there is a link in my bio so you can easily find it. Um, so here it is on page 12 and they gave us, you can see all the, the designs of the designer, designer paper. So you get 12 sheets, two of each of the six um, designs that are double-sided and this fabulous stamp set. So um, you can, um, I love just the word hello. It's a nice bold um, hello word. So that's great. And um, and lots of great ideas uh, for spinning off for um, to create your own cards, okay? Plus I have a sweet sneak peek for you too of some new product that starts on March 3rd. Well, I've got one embellishment. I'm gonna show more um, on my YouTube live on Friday night for Cabin Fever. Okay, so let me show you this uh, designer paper. Um, this is all I've got left of from two packages because I did a swap card with this design. And, um, and I didn't want to open up another package of paper. So, um, so it's just a nice pale papaya color. And here's the other side here. Um, let me get it up a little closer for you. And I love this pinstripe, um, uh, design. We're going to do uh, this card using this design on Friday night um, cabin fever episode on YouTube. And look at this here. Okay. Just, I love the white with um, the granny apple background, just really soft and springy because we need to start thinking of spring. Okay. And then here, this is a pool party background and it's just absolutely gorgeous too. We're gonna use, um, yeah, I'm gonna do some of, this card's gonna use some of this paper today. And then we've got another um, smaller print of leaves with the granny apple green background as well. And then here's some more pale papaya. I don't know what these little designs are, but there's, um, you see them throughout, uh, There, well, there's actually one of these on the stamp, okay? Um, so 
I guess it's kind of like a berry or something to go with the flowers, um, I'm guessing. Okay, so here's the flip side with our fresh freesia. It's a gorgeous color. And let's see if this focuses in a little bit more for you guys. There we go. Um, I love how they've like overstamped the the black outline of the flowers. Hey Pat, welcome. And this one's kind of pretty too, um, where they've taken the images and created like um, a colorful um, pattern with it. All right. And these, I kind of took and fussy cut these so um, to use. And then I love this design as well. Um, we're gonna do this card. We're gonna create a monochromatic card with this. Okay, and finally we've got more pale papaya with that same look as with the fresh freesia. And then here we've got um, fresh freesia with this battery type background. Hey, Anne and Jane. So, yes, it's 40 degrees. I'm hoping to get out after this. So, um, all right, and the new catalog will be, I love this DSP and hope, no, this will not. This is a celebration only. It's the $100 level and it goes away February 28th. So, okay, so let's start. So here's the Friendly Hello stamp set. And I'm also using um, on my second card with Sympathy. We're going to make a Sympathy card um, with this also. Okay, so I've got two cards today. I have shown one of these in the past, okay? This is that bookend fold card, okay? Very easy. And you know what? I forgot to go grab my gold stuff. So let me just grab that really quick. Um, I totally forgot to grab um, this accent here that we need and add some glue to it. So let's pop this out. These are the, um, yeah, what are these, Nancy? Um, we've used them in the past. Their name is not coming to mind. Um, yeah, what are they? I know where they are in the catalog, but do you ever have like a brain freeze, you know? Um, let's see, are they here or are they after that? I thought I knew where they were in the catalog. Oh yeah, Expressions in Ink and Femur Pack. I should have known that because I have used them a lot. Okay, so let's, um, do I have a piece of, I don't have any, um, what you call it? My silicone mats aren't here at all. So let's just grab one of these right here and um, let's, uh, let's here, let's pop this out. And we're gonna get this glued down just so, um, actually I have, I have this fine tip glue bottle here and I meant to do this earlier. Let's see if I, this is gonna work. Oh yeah, it's working. Sometimes you just need a finer tip. And I just put some of our, it's just a, a glue bottle that I've gotten online. And I just add some of our Tombow glue in here instead. And I'm just kind of pouncing on this a little bit, just so I don't get a ton of excess glue just making barely anything on here. Okay, we're gonna set that aside right now, okay? And there we go, let's put the lid on that. And um, there we go. Okay, so I apologize for my runny nose today, but I didn't wanna cancel my live. Okay, so this card is really easy to do, monochromatic today. So I simply have stamped the two flowers. They come together as one piece, okay? Um, and I've already colored them with my um, blends. It's pale papaya, the dark and the light blend. And um, we can, and then like the beauty of magic, I've already fussy cut them out, okay? So I'm gonna set them aside. We have, so let's go to our card base, okay? So the card base is four and a quarter by 11 inches, and I've scored it at um, four and a quarter and eight and a half. And that's what's gonna create our bookend fold, okay? So I'm simply gonna start with this first, and we're gonna 
we're going to close up this bookend, okay? I'm putting some adhesive in this skinny folded area right there, okay? So there's adhesive in, in this area only. And then we'll just simply close that. So now we have our bookend fold, okay? I can feel my nose starting to drip. All right, so I've got two pieces. We're going to um, add some white cardstock here and layer it onto here. So let's... Um, Let's add some adhesive here. And I really should be using my liquid glue for this because you don't need a, all that adhesive that I used. And then maybe I, I would get this on straight too. Okay, let's get, this is strong adhesive because <laughs> it's a seal. All right, this is gonna be crooked. Maybe I can move it. You know what? Let's just start with a new piece here, okay? Here we go. I've got extras cut here. <laughs> so, let's start with a fresh piece here. Oh, okay, take a breath, Nancy, right? Okay, so who, I'm feeling okay. I just woke up today with, um, just with a runny nose so something affected me yesterday I'm not quite sure what all right other than that I feel good and I'm sure those are details you all don't want to know right hey Betty and Wendy welcome guys um, okay so we've got that done now let's so we've got um, I didn't measure this because I've had this cut for a while. So this is a swap card that I did with a group of demonstrators. So this is one inch by um, three and seven eighths, okay? The white card stock is one, one inch by three and seven eighths. So the designer paper would be seven eighths by three and three quarters, correct. Now this piece is in case anybody wants to recreate this three and a quarter inch square I believe yep and then this piece is three and seven eighths in square okay all right um, the measurements will be on my blog um, I'm thinking Saturday okay because I want to add in Friday night's project so I'll put everything together at once okay so sometimes Saturday everything will be posted um, on my blog with measurements and directions okay so all right so let's add we're gonna add these to our card front we're gonna start with the skinnier one because that will be a little bit easier to place because I'm gonna just um, uh, what balance it in between the the two score marks here all right so let's see let's see if I how much farther down I need to do this okay I think that looks good and then we'll add this here as well and so this weekend I have my stamp club meeting on zoom this weekend and my team meeting so i'm looking forward to that all right okay so um let's keep moving forward here okay um so we've got our kind of our base pretty much done now let's stamp something on the inside oh i know let's um we're gonna put our octagon thing on first okay because I'm gonna stamp inside. That way I can get this centered and, um, and have an idea where my words need to go, okay? That way I can center my words better. There, so isn't that easy to put? I love these gold accents as well. Okay, we're gonna use um, out of the stamp set, hope you have the best birthday. So let's, um, ink this up and we are going to stamp excuse my head because I want to make sure I get it straight and it's a solid stamp so I'm just holding it in place for a minute oh that came out great yay 
Perfect. All right. So we've got that. Let's, um, you know what? I didn't do that either. So we're going to, we're going to make a bow, a double bow today. Look at this cool double bow here. You know what? I forgot my embellishments. Oh, Nancy, I'm not doing good here. I figured I had everything ready. So we will compromise with something. Okay, so yeah, what did I write on the inside? Friend. Oh, that's what I did. So um, let's go back with this. So on the inside, I did surgery on my stamp and I got rid of the hello. I cut it apart and we're going to just simply use the word friend in here. So that kind of helps make it versatile. And happy birthday, friend. Let me straight. There we go. And then we will, um, let's add a little bit of monochromatic to this. So let's pull in um, some pale papaya and just a simple little stamp that's in the stamp set. Okay. And it just, that little tiny flower right there. I feel like my light is really tell me is the light too bright for you guys let me turn it down a little bit see if that helps um maybe i don't even need a light today it's so bright and sunny out so hey betty i think i said hello let me check up with comments oh crud late again okay <laughs> okay you're too much okay you're not i was early and on time today yay so Okay, so we've got that, and you haven't missed too much. We pretty much, um, we're doing a book fold card, and this is as far as we've gotten so far. So, let's add this to the inside of our card, and here's some Tombow glue here. I'm trying not to touch the black in case it's not quite dry. So, let's add this. And I made this white piece the same as my front piece that I layered, okay? Um, so that way, when I'm cutting, I'm cutting the same size. So, okay, light-wise. Okay, thanks, Anne. So, isn't that pretty? So let's add this now. Actually, what I did was, I forgot I did this. I cut these two flowers apart. So there's like a little seam there. So I'm going to just go in and cut these apart because we will layer just a little bit of quick fussy cutting here. Okay, there we go. And so I'm going to kind of do... Kind of put that one down on there. We'll put that one flat. So we'll kind of just, you know, try this out to see how it's gonna look. Okay, I think that looks good. So let's add this one flat. So we're gonna add some glue here. And just add that on flat. And then this one we'll dimensionalize, okay? Let's grab a few dimensionals. Two. Yay. Okay. And this is just going to totally cover up that seam of where we um, did the fussy cutting. Isn't that cool? You got this set the other day. Oh, Betty, it's pretty nice. And the flower, uh, the paper is just so springy. I love it. Okay. So let's add some dimensionals to this. We'll pop this up a little bit more. And I'm trying to kind of stay away from where I've already added dimensionals, okay? Because that's pretty thick. Hopefully it'll go through the machine a little bit better um, at the post office. Okay, so we'll just simply add this on here. Now let's make a double bow, okay? Um, let's see, I need a ruler. Normally when I make a bow, it's eight inches long one two and this is the white seam bind crinkled is it crinkled yeah the crinkled seam bind ribbon okay it's the most staticky thing in the world <laughs> to work with i think so i'm just simply going to um double it up okay 
because it's just like so staticky and I'm gonna start um, I like to use the fold part um, so I don't have to worry about grabbing two tails so I'm just gonna bring it across um, my my hair pick here and let's get a tail okay so I've got my tail and we're gonna wrap it around so it kind of makes a fuller bow is what it does um, if you have really thick ribbon this doesn't work as well just because okay well this is the staticky part and you can see I okay let's find something to poke it with because that's my problem just poking this through maybe it would be better to cut the ends because that fold is harder to get through. Okay, that did it. So I might just kind of adjust this just a little bit more. Okay, now bring it up through and we're gonna tie a knot. You gotta make sure you're grabbing both, um, both tails. There they are. And so I got a little bit of bulk there looseness so I got to pull that so just pull it really really tight okay so now we have a full a little bit fuller and you could really do as many um, layers as you really wanted to you know but as I said if you're gonna do like you know more than one bow you, you want kind of a really light um, ribbon that will move appropriately okay all right so we've got kind of like our tail going there, okay? So let's grab a glue dot and I'll trim the end later after we get this on. We'll just simply put it there in the middle and I kind of want my tails to be off to the side here. So I'm gonna try to work it instead of hanging down, okay? All right, hopefully they'll stay like that. And I'm going to just cut them both together at the same time. There we go. All right, so there's our tail. So I don't know if I have anything like nearby that would um, work with this. Let me grab some gems. All right, here's these. Um, this is what I had these elegant faceted gems here. So let's add some of these onto here, all right? I like the white ones. Um, if you hear any banging, it's the snow run, um, falling off our roof. Hey Kay, thanks. Um, thanks for sharing too. And Stella, welcome Stella. Um, we're gonna just use the white ones because I because we've got, um, this monochromatic thing going. So let's add this one here. Um, let's put another one here. And then let's put another one down here. Okay. All right. There is card number one. What do you guys think? Do you love it? So the bookend fold um, is very easy to do and kind of fun to make um, an interesting card. For someone so let's uh, let's decorate our envelope here as well um, we'll just continue with the monochromatic here's this bird with on the branch and the flowers and that just really adds some sweetness to it so I feel like I'm like really um, zoomed in today but I'm not quite sure why so there we go. Okay, so let's go and do a second monochromatic card. And then um, if you're hanging in till the end, I've got some swap cards um, that uh, other demo that I did um, for my swap to show you too. I kind of keep forgetting to share them with you guys. So, okay, so let's, um, and one of these is kind of like inspired by the swap as well. Okay, so we're gonna do the pool party. I love this design right here. So simply, we're going to, um, even that's kind of pretty, isn't it? I kind of like to um, 
I don't know, sometimes it's good to, you could mix it, match it a little bit differently with different designs, but I just kind of fell in love with just using all the same designs. So let's, um, let's do this. Add some glue to it. These are one and a half inch strips by, you know, I'm not sure, three and seven eighths, I think, is what I decided. But I'll have these in a blog post too, okay? It might be a separate one. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do yet. Okay, so we're going to create kind of like a quarter inch um, area around. So I'm going to start with, and if I had normally thought about it, I would have cut these in a row and I didn't. I did long strips, so um, which is kind of fun to do. You can see the pattern just being cut, cut apart and flowing together. So we're going to just space these apart. So you start with the end so you can kind of then um, do the middle and just, um, what do I want to say? You know, adjust it, balance it out better. Okay, isn't that pretty? The white with the pool party. So we'll layer it onto a piece of pool party. And this is a really simple card. You could do this with every single design in a stamp set, uh, in a designer paper package, pretty much. Um, and just keep the mo monochromatic look. Um, there might be some designs that don't work well, but a lot of designs work like this. Okay, um, let's add some dimensionals to the back of this. And <laughs> Patty, <laughs> I was on time today. <laughs> It's hard to believe, but I know today is flying by and I don't feel like I got hardly anything done yet. Um, I was trying to get my blog post written and that didn't happen, but oh well, there's time later. So we're just going to add this to a um, basic white card base and um, whoops, there we go. And today's National Pizza Day. So who responded to my post as to whether you like cheese pizza or a everything pizza? Um, it's interesting to see. I think the majority of your comments were all with, just load it right up, Nancy. So isn't that pretty? Look at that. I think I got it straight. Um, okay. So. We're gonna just simply take one of these tailor-made tags here, okay? And as I said before, I needed a sympathy card. So let's, I thought this would make a really pretty sympathy card. Um, let's add this to it. In fact, I should make a couple of these. Oh, that came out great. All right, let's put that away. And we are going to then take some pool party sheer ribbon. So yeah, just plain sheer. And you need, um, we need another eight inches of ribbon. And I think I'm gonna show you the difference. So my last one, I ran through the tag. So I think we'll just do one, um, we'll just tie it with this. It's so much easier to do this. I feel like it's so much easier to tie it this way than to um, tie it by hand. And less thumbs, I think. It's hard to hold on to that ribbon and make a great bow. Okay, so we've got a tag and we're gonna take some um, fussy cut images, all right? So I took that beautiful designer paper and look at all these images I've been fussy cutting out. This is some of my work from waiting for my husband and from his dentist appointment yesterday. So we are, and then just whenever. So we're gonna pull out this and let's pull out a couple of these and these. They don't take long and they're just kind of fun to do. Um, I think and we're gonna take one of those all right so um, let's add these onto our card first because I, I want to make sure on our tag I want to make sure that um, let's stick that behind there 
that I'm getting some dimensionals on the back side of this, okay? Because we're going to dimensionalize the tag as well. So let's put a little bit on our bird. And, whoops, I put that down just a little bit too low. There we go. And then let's get our bird on here. Okay, so we've got our tag. And then, um, so now we can see exactly where we need to put those dimensionals. Because I want to make sure it's supported, okay? And there we go. I think that looks pretty good. So, okay, comments. Beautiful, lots of patience for all the fussy cotton. Thanks, Patty. <laughs> oh, um, Hey, Kathy, welcome. I'll be seeing you on Saturday. I hope everything goes well. Um, okay, so I don't know. I love to fussy cut, and it's kind of fun, you know? Um, I got a post to share with you about some fussy cutting that I needed done. So we're going to just kind of angle this a little bit, and then we can add our bow on here. And then we're going to finish it off with a new embellishment that's going to start on February 1st that will be available. And that will carry over into the next catalog. It's an early release type thing. Okay, so let's just trim this and this. This, this pool party ribbon, I really haven't used it much before this. So isn't that just pretty? Look at that. So let's, um, let me show you this new embellishment and how am I going to do this? Um, oh yeah, we're going to, let's do this. We're going to, um, stamp the envelope. We'll use some pool party and this nice, uh, leafy, um, image. And let's just add a little bit. I'm not sure what I'm going to say on the inside. I might just leave it blank so I can write a message. Um, there we go. Okay. So we got that done. Now let's add some gems. So look at these beautiful gems that are going to be in the next catalog. And I'm going to show more about this um, collection that's coming out. I only got the designer paper and the foil paper so far. Um, i kind of on the fence about the stamp set yet. But it's called Ocean Waves, I believe. And these are these new rhinestones that are coming out, jewels. And they are absolutely fabulous. So um, it comes in three colors is what they're calling it. Knight of Navy, um, Pacific Point, which I think is kind of light, and then um, Coastal Cabana are the colors. So they're really gorgeous. So I thought this, this um, lighter color here looked kind of similar to Pool Party. So let's add some of these onto our card. All right, so we'll just use our take your pick tool here and add some sparkle. So what do you guys think? Do you love this or what? I, I love those new gems. It's not just a sweet card. It just even, I don't know, I think it's perfect for sympathy and really any occasion, anything spring, it could be birthday, just thinking of you, just, you know, whatever you feel um, you need in a occasion for but anyways okay so let me show you the swap cards I have so tell me which was your favorite I already know what mine is do you like the pool party or the pale papaya and doing monochromatic cards are really kind of fun to create um you know because you have limited supplies and it's just kind of good. All right. Um, so let me show you the inspiration for this card because I got looking at my swaps and I'm like, this is my, sw my swap card. This was kind of my inspiration for it. Um, and just kind of turned it into my own, the three panels and I've got my focal point and pool party ribbon and so on but um so there's that this was made by uh anastasia radloff um she's a fellow demonstrator that i swapped with um so let's see the other ones here so and i also write wrote comments so um 
So I've got already wrote down comment winners. Uh, well, numbers anyways. I'll have to go back and count to see who the winners are. So whoever was number 12 and number 29 today is going to get one of these cards in the mail. Okay. Okay. So um, let's see. Let's swap cards, Nancy. Let's look at these swap cards with this, um, this um, celebration bundle. Okay. So here's one using the, um, uh, with the pale papaya design here. And this was made by Susie Wood. She's from Iowa. Um, and that's pretty too. She's kind of created a focal point there as well. And it looks like she used our new punch here as well. So that was from Susie. And then here, um, maybe this is a fun fold. I better open this up. Um, here. Let's see. This is from Laura Barch, Barchette, Barchette. I'm I'm one to crucify names, so if you're watching, um, I so apologize for doing that. So, okay, so here's this one. This is kind of like a cool, fun fold that Laura did. Just a strip of designer paper. She's got a little bit of um, the pale papaya ribbon in there um, to work with. So, and also those are those scallop label dies. So that's kind of cool. Let me just put her card back in there. Okay, so here's another one. This one's neat how she um, did the triangles type of design on here as well. And this is from just getting crafty. I don't have a name. So there's that one. Um, I'm going to save that one for last. So here's this one. So just using those scalloped uh, contour dies. And there's a little bit of texture with an embossing folder down here and she's got that hint of um this is from janet holmes and i probably should have taken these out i don't know if you guys are really getting a glare or not but can you see that um silver um i don't know that wide silver wispy ribbon that we have there as well i don't know if you can the light's not going to catch it so that's kind of that's a pretty card from janet Okay, um, here's another one here. And this is kind of like a fun fold. Hand stamp, Angie Leach made this one. And so this one, she kind of did, oh, she created a pocket in there. That's really cool. You always love fun folds. Very neat, love it. Um, so there's that from Angie. And then this is kind of like an idea that was in the catalog itself as well. So that's kind of neat using the stamp sets and creating your focal point. This is done by um, KCOG Bill. And so Sympathy kind of started me off today too. Um, here's this one. This was made by Marsha Gay as well um, using that pelt papaya. And she kind of created, it makes it look like a frame is what it did. Um, so let's see. I'm looking great. General templates, great paper already have. Okay, so look at this. Isn't this interesting? But here is this cool little, I think they call these triangle cards. Okay, look at this. So it kind of sits up like that. So you can see all the different um, designs. Okay, this was made by Rhonda Bassler. All right. So I hope this inspires you. She used a little bit of that new um, ribbon. I think that's with the sailboat maybe. There's like a misty moonlight color. It's a combo pack um, set. So I hope you ins um, you felt or this help inspire you to one. If you don't already have um, this uh, bundle, it's a hundred dollars celebration level. And also, I want to show you, I forgot about this. Um, let me show you. I also, today something else was released. Um, I need to get rid of a screen here. Hold on. Um, that came, that, that was released today. Oh, that's not going to work. Okay, there we go. So it's in our new kit collection. And what is the name of it, Nancy? 
Um, it's a message type board. Um, so it creates these little pockets. There's cards and everything to help get you organized. Um, but you can go to the online store to see more information about that as well. So, okay, gorgeous cards. Thanks for sharing, Betty. You're welcome. Okay, so does anybody have any questions before we go? Um, I'm glad you love the cards. Um, and the new gems are awesome. You guys can, um, customers can order them starting uh, March 1st. Um, or if you want to take advantage of the starter kit, now's a great time because that bundle, the Ocean Waves bundle, can be added to your starter kit as well. So if you wanted more information about that, I'll be happy to talk to you about it and help you um, get started with the starter kit. So, so remember, um, I gotta look at the rest of my notes. Um, YouTube Live, uh, just remember YouTube Live is Friday night. We're celebrating cabin fever at 7.30 on my YouTube channel. If you want to comment, you have to make sure you A, um, have signed up for YouTube and that you sign in with, um, with Google, okay? Um, that way uh, YouTube knows that you're a legitimate person and not a spammer. Um, and that you can comment. So if you're having trouble commenting, make sure you've signed up for YouTube and you're signed into your Google account, okay? So you can comment, all right? Um, and I think that's it. So hopefully between now and then, I will maybe make um, a card or two with that new ocean paper. If not, it'll be next week, okay? Let me look at comments one more time. And hey, Jean. I'm um, glad you're here. So we will see you Friday night if you're available and out and about. That's Eastern Time at 7.30 on YouTube. Okay, everybody, have an awesome day, and we will see you soon. Bye-bye.